And, and I think the worst thing there for Labor is because they rely on the Greens' preferences to keep them alive in two-party preferred terms, they keep edging over to the hard left to keep the Greens uh, at least in the tent. And that just alienates them to all the people on the old Labor right or indeed the centre that they need, Labor needs traditionally in order to win an election. So, you know, they're in an almost death spiral with the Greens. And, and you see in that poll in Redbridge as well, that pull out on migration. And this is, I think, really significant. Frustration from Australians around immigration has surged since December. 73% of people say our cities are way too crowded. 50% believe that migrants are a burden on our welfare system. And just to cement that with some fact, we get a report out today, Dennis, that migrant families, this is in New South Wales, are taking up more than 35,000 of a social housing places. Now, that's almost a quarter of the available supply. I'm not saying they're doing anything any wrong. They're inside the rules, but a quarter of the available social housing is going to these migrants, and that's pushing out the median wait time to over five years. And we know this particularly in Brisbane, we've got Australians living in tents because they can't afford even rent this is the big challenge, I think, for the government because the budget will be where they want answers and we've got inflationary pressures and, and risk of a rate rise. Well, the, uh, the, the immigration issue has become a symbol of the cost of living pressure. Uh, people feel uh, that they are being squeezed economically. Uh, they're, they've still got uh, high employment, which is good, but uh, the feeling mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. that the housing crisis, which translates into high rents, high mortgage rates, and now people are talking about the prospect of no mortgage cuts uh, before the end of the year. The, the government's whole strategy is based on an improving economy going into next year. If there are no interest rate cuts, no dividends for people, and increased pressure on housing, whether it is just the availability of housing and the cost of rents, uh, this will be a, a drain on Labor support all the way to the election. And this, coupled with those polling declines, will be a real concern that the central strategy for re-election is actually bogged down now economically and politically. What do you make of those shocking images that came out late this afternoon, uh, the alleged involvement of one of the free detainees in a violent home invasion in Perth. I mean, the imagery for the woman attacked in particular is shocking. This is an issue that's dogged the government now for months and it's not going away. Well, ag again, this is another symbol of a wider problem. Uh, the, the issue of the release of the immigration detainees uh, ties in to immigration, it ties into illegal boat arrivals, and it also ties into the broader issue of crime and, and violence. And these are all killer issues which the government has so far been unable to deal with. The responsible ministers on the release of the detainees have been next to useless. They haven't been able to provide explanations. And every time they provide a reassurance that these people who have been released are being monitored, you have yet another mm. example of the alleged involvement of a, a, of a detainee, a released detainee, in a violent crime. This really hurts the government and the ministers on uh, border security and uh, uh, immigration are really in the gun again over their incompetence in handling the way that these people are monitored. What about the fallout today from the Prime Minister's attendance at the domestic violence rally in Canberra? He was heckled. Uh, you know, there's a different version of events from the PM as opposed to the organiser. She was pretty emotional about it, though. And in the end, it's how the Prime Minister's perceived to handle uh, this rebuke. How, how did he do it today? Did, did you think he, um, he has turned things around or is it going to dog him? Oh, I, look, I think he, he did what the only thing he could do. He didn't uh, respond. Uh, he just said, I, I was happy to speak or not speak. He didn't answer the allegation that he had lied. Uh, he didn't answer that he, he had failed to read the room, as it were, and, and insisted on speaking. We still, he hasn't contradicted 
uh, and nor can he really uh, because it would just be picking a fight with someone who is, uh, you know, at the moment a hero uh, on on these uh, rallies against domestic violence. And so he has handled Mm -hmm. it reasonably well, but going into it was the big mistake. And he has now, he, he actually attacked Scott Morrison for his handling of women's issues and he is now suffering the same fate that Scott Morrison did at the hands of Labor ministers, as of Labor leaders and uh, shadow ministers in opposition. It's a uh, it's a sort of a a, a sweet uh, revenge uh, for the coalition, but it isn't helping on the issue of domestic violence.